Welcome to episode 650. David Harding, Cambridge scientist turned trader. This is an outline of episode 650. There are three reasons we study David Harding. First, he started his hedge fund Winton in 1997 with 1.6 million dollars. Second, he transitioned from a Cambridge University scientist to a quant hedge fund billionaire. Third, at age 58, he is still full of interesting ideas on innovations. Let's meet David Harding. Well, in my case, I've done this for nearly 40 years, so um, I'm I'm definitely not got my back to the wall. But I am absolutely driven to innovate and can't afford to be complacent. Anyone who's complacent in my business、um, is waiting to have their head handed to them. So, well. We're doing all the things that we've done historically. We we have always hired and trained a lot of scientists. We have always maintained, you know, very、um, well, pretty sophisticated com- computing networks, building huge databases,、um, and w- we continue to do that. The speed of、uh, computing and the fact that we've moved our computing into the cloud in the last two or three years. He was born in Oxford, England, in 1961. 1982, at the age of 21, he graduated with a degree in theoretical physics and first-class honor. He is a picture of St Catherine College, Cambridge University. Phase one: the apprentice years. After graduation, he worked five years in the finance industry. The last was at a place called Saber Fund Management. Phase two: from zero to millions. In 1987, at the age of 26, he co-founded AHL with 7,500 pounds, or roughly 12,000 U.S. dollars. They were founded by three nerds in their 20s without an office. AHL stands for Mike Adams, David Harding, and Martin Luke. Three Musketeers did fairly well, using. A system called the Turtle Traders. For more information on Turtle Trader, please watch episode one seventy and one seventy one of this channel. John Henry, the owner of Liverpool Football Club, got rich first by being a turtle trader. In nineteen ninety four, AHL was sold to Man Group, one of the largest hedge fund in the world, based in London. Phase three: from millionaire to billionaire. Ten years later, in 1997, David Harding founded Winton with about two million dollars. Winton is his middle name. After starting with only two million dollars in 1997, his firm、uh, now has a whopping 21 billion dollars under management. Joining us on Squawk Box, I'm going to start with just reading a, a systematic trend follower that believes scientific research. In the financial markets,、uh, will work over the long term. I- For giving me such an appearance,、um, what we do is we trade a large number of futures markets, about a hundred liquid futures markets around the world, and we go with the flow. We follow the trends in those markets. We take positions、uh, on the long side when they're going up, or we try to take them on the long side when they're going up, on the short side when they're going down. And remarkably,、uh, there is enough trending behaviour in the markets so that we have managed to make money. Nearly every year over the last 15 years since we were founded. Since 1997, his hedge fund Winton averaged about 15% return per year, netting his clients about 12% return a year. A very wealthy man at age 58. These are his worries. What do you worry about? You know. Well, what I find challenging is balancing my four constituencies. So my four constituencies are, you know, the customers, the staff, the regulators, the public regulators, and the shareholders. You know, the easiest of those is the shareholders. Well, it's you. It's well, I'm fifty-seven percent, but I have ten percent shareholding from AMG, for example. You know, so that is definitely the least of <laughs> the least、yep. of my worries, if you want. But oftentimes, those four constituencies, their interests can be opposed or contradictory.、Um, but they don't all sort of magically align the interests of these four constituencies at all. Now, in 2019, he made 100 million pound donation to Cambridge University. This was Cambridge University's largest ever donation. 
I'm immensely grateful to David and Claudia Harding for this extraordinary gift to the Student Support Initiative of Cambridge University. It will transform Cambridge's ability to attract and retain the very best postgraduate students from across Britain and around the world. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be David Harding, 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.